Hello and welcome to MyTestTree.com. This is a web page dedicated to helping you get the highest mark possible on the TOEIC exam. My name is Amanda and I will be your guide in this video series. In this video, I'm going to speak about homophones. This is the first video in a series that I am teaching about homophones. Understanding common homophones can help you improve your TOEIC score. So let's look, first of all, at what homophones are. The word homophone originally comes from Greek, homo meaning same, and phone meaning voice or sound. Literally, it means same sound. When two words in English have the same sound, but the spelling is different, they are called homophones. A quick and easy example is with the word I, as in me, and I, as in what I see with. With these two words, the sound is the same, but the spelling and the meaning of these words are different. So I and I are homophones. You may also hear the word homonym used. Strictly speaking, homonyms are different than homophones. Homonyms are words that are spelt and sound the same, but have different meanings. And homophones sound the same, but the spelling and meaning are different. For this video, we will only use the word homophone to describe the words we are speaking about. However, if you are interested in doing some practice on your own by looking on the internet, you can also look for the word homonym since many people use that word to describe homophones. The TOEIC exam will use homophones to test your knowledge of the real meaning of words. Many times, test takers get lower scores because they do not know homophones and they choose the wrong answers. In other words, they get tricked. It is easy to find more than 400 homophones in English. In this video series, or this branch of the test tree, we are going to cover the most common ones, the ones which you are more likely to encounter on an English exam. For this video, let's look at four common homophones. By, by, and by, sell, and sell, for, and for, our, and our. The first one is buy, buy, and buy. To buy means to purchase something. For example, I am going to the store to buy an apple. The second one is most often used as an adverb, meaning to go past. For example, I will go buy the bank on the way home. It is also used in many more contexts, such as identifying the agent in an action, a passive verb, etc. To keep it simple, just remember that when you see the word buy as in B-U-Y, it means to purchase. The final buy comes from the word goodbye. This one I believe you all should know. Let's look at the next ones. Sell and sell. A sell is a noun. It can mean a place where a man in prison sleeps, or a small compartment in a larger structure, like that of a honeycomb. Or the smallest unit in an organism, like a human, plant, or animal. Finally, the most common one used in our modern world is cell as in cell phone. These are the most basic definitions. To sell is a verb. It means to give over something in exchange for money. For example, I will sell you all of my DVDs for $200. The third one is four and four. Four is the number. Four is a preposition. While I won't explain the details of all of its uses, here are a couple of examples. I voted for Jill for president. 
You are responsible for walking the dog. The last one is hour and hour. Hour is related to time. For example, I will be ready to leave in one hour. Hour is a possessive pronoun for we. For example, that is our dog. So that is some basic information for the difference between these four homophones. If you already knew them, that is great. If you would like some more practice, please download the PDF below this video called Homophones 1 for some exercises with them. That brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching and be sure to come and see me at www.mytesttree.com for more videos, information and practice for the TOEIC exam. Thanks and see you there.